my margarine or my butter, whatever. And it's sauteed on the stove. Okay, so my onions are starting to saute. I know it looks like a lot of butter, but you need to add butter to the uh, dough recipe as well as to the potatoes themselves because this is going to be a cheese and potato pierogi. And as you can see, potatoes are boiling nicely. So you're going to peel and cut them up into quarter size pieces. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to boil them for about half an hour until, until pork tender. And then uh, I'll drain them and we'll get mixing. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Okay, nice and hot and steamy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down actually my onions that are boiling here. And what I want to do is I want to mash the potatoes and then uh, get it all mixed, but I'm going to transfer it into a stainless steel bowl. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer uh, transfer uh, my potatoes, boiled potatoes, into the bowl so I can mash them. And put that in the sink. Okay. So we're going to mash these suckers real good. <laughs> okay, so you want to get them mashed really nice. And then once that's mashing's done, then you're going to want to uh, add all your other ingredients. Okay. So now that they're all mashed uh, roughly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sautéed onions and strain them through a slotted spoon and add the onions to the mix. And here, this will be easier. And I want to also to get some butter in there so that adds to the texture. It will thin it out a bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'll saute more onions in this butter and we'll be good to go. So what I'm going to do now, I've got quite a few onions. It's actually a whole onion. I'm going to add some butter. Not much, but because I'll be adding my favorite, and I think 90% <laughs> of people who enjoy it is cheese whiz. So, mash that in a bit. And this is just going to be, like I said, a cheese and potato uh, cheese and potato pierogi. I couldn't find uh, what I usually put in is cottage cheese, but I couldn't find any because uh, I guess the grocery store was all out. Okay. Now, I'm gonna add, this is white pepper. I actually, I like white pepper and I also like the black pepper. And I need, whoops, a little bit too much. A little bit of salt. Not much. I'm gonna put the rest back. Give that a little mixy mix. Now you're gonna want to add the cheese whiz or cheddar, whichever you prefer. Um, I try not to use uh, too much, but this is what my family always used. So. And it gives it the, a little bit creamier texture, but uh, I like using cheddar as well. And uh, 
Okay, let's try. Try that for now. Well, you can see that the consistency is like mashed potatoes. Now we that we finished mixing. You can add bacon, you can add cottage cheese, but like I say, I didn't have, so it's whatever you wanna add into this on top of it. This is right now, uh, Jessica, my daughter, is uh, licking the, uh, the masher. <laughs> so she, she, and she's given her approval and thumbs up. So, okay, next is to make the dough. Okay, well, more onions are cooking, um, cause I need the, uh, margarine or butter that you have in there uh, to soak up any of the uh, flavors and the goodies in the uh, onion before I uh, add it to the next portion of my uh, recipe and that's making the dough so with this I went to Costco and I bought a huge huge uh, package of uh, for me and, and Scott actually 10, 10 kilos is quite quite a bit, but I intend on making quite a bit of stuff with this. And uh, it's dirt cheap, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one, this is all-purpose white flour. Two. Probably just do a four batch, four cup batch, and that'll be sufficient for what we need for Christmas. Because my little family is just that little. And then I'm going to add eggs. I'm going to add one egg, which is kind of destroyed here. Add a little bit, excuse my reach, a little bit of salt, not much. Okay, and then I am going to add approximately well, half a cup sour cream. I like using sour cream because it makes it makes the um, dough more pliable and also uh, softer, silkier and great tasting. Okay so now we can add to this I'd say about for each cup of uh, each cup of uh, flour, I'll add about a tablespoon of uh, butter, margarine, whatever it is that you use. Uh, for for me, I've got some cholesterol issues, uh, but I also uh, need to take care of my health a little bit better. So, uh, oops, don't want that onion in there. Get back. And maybe one for good measure. So for each cup, I'll put in like a tablespoon of margarine. And uh, then what we do is we need water, a little bit of water, not much, but a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab a cup that I use for the flour, just add a little bit of water, not much, probably four tablespoons of that, and then just start mixing mixing everything around and if you're going to need more water then you add more water. Just get into it with your hands. That's one thing my mother always taught me how to do is we add Add your hands to the mix. Jess, could you put a little bit more water in? Okay, that's good. It's probably another tablespoon. And 
then what you're going to do afterwards is once you get it pretty well incorporated, you're going to put it on a, on your countertop or marble board or whatever, and you're going to knead the heck out of this sucker, and then you're going to let it rest. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So now you can see my dough is nice and rested, and I'm going to pull it out just to show you what the consistency is like. So it's nice and rubbery, nice and smooth. I'm just gonna add a little flour because I need to uh, roll them out. And I need to, of course, get a knife, which I forgot to do, to cut the dough. Okay, so, I'm just gonna cut a small piece and roll it out a bit. This, we've tried different methods. We've used the pierogi press. We've used, you know, oh, all sorts of different methods. Dante, <laughs> get out of here, you. And I'm just cutting these into small uh, little, little uh, buttons, so to speak. See? Just gonna swish them down and roll them out. Okay, and put this over here for now so that you guys can see everything. Okay, so you just you just roll them out into uh, thin uh, dollar-sized chips, so to speak. You don't want them too thin, you don't want them too thick, because then otherwise it's gonna... It's gonna... Not... It's gonna be too thick and it's gonna be really chewy and doughy and you don't want that. So I've got Jessica here who's gonna be helping me roll these suckers. And she's just gonna... Add some mix. show you how to do a few of them. And then Jessica's just going to put them on the uh, silk pad here so that uh, they don't just stick to the table. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll show you quickly how uh, you got your uh, dough here. You're gonna add, uh, what? What would you say, just about a tablespoon? And then just fold it in half and pinch the edges. And make sure they're nicely sealed. And you got yourself a nice little pierogi. rolling. I'm pinching. There you go. Nice little. So we're going to continue with this and bring it back when uh, I start boiling. Okay, so we are back. Now I'm going to start boiling the pierogies that we made. We let them dry out for a little bit and then we just throw them in a pot of water and wait until they float to the top. stir so that they don't stick to the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to turn this up a bit so that it at least 
<sighs> it at least uh, comes up, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir so that they don't stick. Like I say, once they start floating to the top, then you know they're ready to come out. Okay, so you can see that they're floating at the top. Uh, they've been in, in the water for about, you know, five or ten minutes, something like that. Uh, not, not long. Not even, probably not even ten minutes. So, so what I'll do is I'll put these in a, a strainer so that they can... I can uh, drain them. spoon. Actually, a better way to do this is just scoop the suckers in. There we go. Oh goody, and I cut one in half. Here's the next favorite part of mine, dumping them in. And adding just a little bit of butter and onions. And there you go. And here are your pinch pierogies. Still have one more batch to get out of the uh, pot of water, and then that's it. We've had our fill already, so <laughs> hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and share. Thanks. Bye bye.